Hello, and today we're doing Ironstone Meadery, Carolina Reaper Mead, Satan's Anus. I've been waiting for this to show up. Uh, Carolina Reaper obviously is, I think it's still the world's hottest pepper. I've had Carolina Reaper pickles. I've actually had a hot Carolina Reaper Mead by this company. But I think the hot was misleading because it has it had a vanilla. It was based on the Unholy Apple, and it had a vanilla it had vanilla in there to smooth out. So as soon as you got the hotness, it kind of mellowed out from what I gather. This does not have any of that. This is just straight honey and Carolina Reaper pepper. So this is a little more wicked, hence the name Satan's Anus. It says, Satan's Anus, have you ever tongue punched the devil under the pear moonlight? Yeah, I can't say that I did or that I want to. Well, now is your chance. Oh, happy, happy joy, joy on that. There's just enough Carolina Reaper pepper in this libation to heat the mouth. But, B-U-T-T, -T, of course, give the full flavor of the demonic pepper itself. Are you not brave enough to not only tongue punch a bit of Satan's anus, dot, 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 or how about swallowing? Bottoms up. Seriously, they had to go with swallowing? Can't we keep this G-rated? Like, come on. Anyway, there's the label. Ironstone Meadery, Erie, Pennsylvania. I got my mead glass. Let's see what we have. That's more than enough. Straight up. Smells like fiery honey, which kind of fits. Oh, holy shit. Okay. Oh, much worse than the hot reaper mead. This does not have the after vanilla effect to cool this one off. The back of my throat is on fire and it's draining down into my chest. If anybody has have, ever had Carolina Reaper anything, uh, the hotness is different. It's not like most peppers, like it doesn't just burn. It's literally like a thousand little needles just like pricking the back of your tongue, the back of your throat. And this does not disappoint. This is exactly what you get from that. It feels like there's needles just like going crazy in my mouth. That being said, the flavor is not bad. The pepper flavor, like the pepper part, the honey mead part is not bad. The pepper lasts, I don't know, what was that, like 30 seconds? Like, now I'm good. I still feel it, but it's not overwhelming. Like, I can function. It's cool. My chest is a little warm, just like a whiskey or something that's high in alcohol content. Uh, all in all, that's pretty good. I would love if somebody who watches this video, I know not many of you do because I'm not well known. Uh... But if somebody could give me a comment on maybe something to pair this with to get a better flavor with the heat. Uh, with the hot reaper mead, I did Malibu rum and pineapple. And that was actually delicious. It was like a spicy pineapple. Uh, so something along those lines. Maybe you have like a... I know they have a blueberry mead that they're currently out of stock of at Ironstone Meadery. So if you have a blueberry liqueur... Excuse me, I'm dying here. Or, ooh, the burps burn. Ooh, they burn. Or strawberry liqueur, something like that to go with this. Or maybe a uh, strawberry pale ale. Something along those lines. Let me know in the comments. Please let me know. I swear to God, if it sounds decent, I will try it. I'll try most anything. Uh, yeah, let me know. All in all, good stuff. 8 to 10% alcohol. I don't know what that's about. Neighbors going crazy. Anywho. Let me know what you want me to do next, okay? Uh, I also mead read. This would be great for parties. Uh, maybe somebody who doesn't like something spicy, slip it to them, surprise them. They'll be angry for like 30 seconds. Then they're going to be okay. It's really not that bad. Uh, but I think it has a lot of potential if paired with the right stuff. So hit me up. Let me know what you think. There's my review.